I'm gonna open two beers. You tell me what sounds more refreshing. Okay, this one or this one? Bush. Oh, the second one. What do I win? A speedboat? Not a contest. A trampoline? A jet ski? Bush. I've been waiting all week for this one. Welcome to HQ Sports Happy Hour with Bush Light. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino. This is our sixth and final game with our friends at Bush Light. So let's make it count. Yes, our season may be coming to an end, but we might be right back with a new schedule. So just keep up with us on social at HQ Trivia, at HQ Sports, and of course at Bush Beer for all of the updates. Let us know what time is best for you to play some HQ Sports. Would you like happy hour? Would you rather play later in the day? We'd love to hear from you. So let us know your thoughts on that. And hopefully we will be back. But for now, it's Thursday. It's 5 p.m. That means it's time for 12 rounds of sports only trivia. If you can get them all right, then you win. You gotta dodge those TKO questions. You might have to use an extra life, but it's worth it because the prize tonight is $5,000. And we had some big winners on Sunday. I mean it, over $50 went to each winner. So I think this is gonna be another pretty great payout. We'll just see, you never know. All right, so that's $5,000 in prize money. Now it's time for our charity. Today we are giving some more support to the USBG National Charity Foundation. With the COVID-19 outbreak, bartending jobs everywhere, as you know, have been hit really hard. So USBG is providing emergency grants to workers experiencing significant need right now. Here's board member Kim Hasrud, excuse me, with a few words, Kim. Hi HQ Trivia, Kim Hasrud here from the USBG Foundation. I want to thank you and our generous donor Bush Light for stepping up to support the USBG Foundation. We encourage you to donate today and this is where the foundation comes in. 
for our Bartender Emergency Assistance Program COVID-19 Relief Campaign. We're actually giving grants to those bartenders in emergent need. So we encourage you to donate today. Please go to usbgfoundation.org. Feel free to donate what you would tip your bartender on a pint of beer or a round of drinks or more. Whatever you can, it goes a long way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kim. If you would like to donate yourself, you could head to usbgfoundation.org and give what you can. Any bit helps. So good to be taking care of each other in these times, right? Right. Well, as we wait out the return of our favorite sports, it seems like they're slowly getting there, right? The Premier League is coming back in June. That just popped up today. The NHL's 2014 playoff isn't officially agreed upon by players yet, but man, would that be fun to watch? The NBA is in talks, Major League Baseball as well. We've already seen NASCAR, UFC, and some fun golf matchups. But I have to say, the greatest comeback of all has been HQ Sports, baby, and maybe we'll make another comeback. So let's enjoy our last game, at least for a little while. And game time is approaching, and you know we gotta keep it hydrated. If you need some Bush Light, head to bush.com slash delivery. They deliver, you hydrate responsibly, of course. And then you could just sit on the couch and win some HQ Sports, how about that? That's more than I do in any given week these days. <laughs> all right, team. The time has come. Take these last few seconds, get a good stretch in. Let's set the game clock and get into ready position with $5,000 on the line. No pressure, you got this. Round one starts right now. What position touches the ball the most in every football game? Center, quarterback, or running back? Each play begins with the center snapping the ball, either to a quarterback, a holder for a kick, or hmm, someone else. So it's the center who racks up the most touches. Center is your answer. Ooh, got a couple of you here at round one who automatically went for quarterback there. Nah, nah, nah. 23,576 of you didn't buy that one. No siree. Round two. The 500 in Indy 500 stands for what? Miles, laps, or turns? Normally a Memorial Day event, this year's Indy 500 has been pushed to August 23rd. The race lasts 20 laps, 200 laps, more like that. So about a thousand turns and it covers 500 miles, of course. 500 miles is your answer, 18,961. Yeah, 20 laps at 500 miles, that would be crazy. And I will walk 500 miles to round number three. Let's do it. Gussie Bush purchased what team, saving it from relocation? Cardinals, Brewers, or Twins? One clue for you here, what team plays in Bush Stadium right now? It's the Cardinals who almost moved to Houston in 1953 until Bush bought the team for the price of a middle reliever at 3.75 million. Can you believe that? It was a different time. Cardinals is your answer. 13,229 of you getting this one right. All right, things are heating up and we're heading to round number four. What was the last team from Canada to win a Stanley Cup? Edmonton Oilers, Calgary Flames, or Montreal Canadiens? It's almost unfair that a sport played on ice has seen winners in Los Angeles, Dallas, Anaheim, and Tampa more recently than any town in Canada. The last champ from up north, Montreal in 1993. The Montreal Canadiens is your answer. 9,486 of you getting that right. Ooh, and speaking of ice, it's time for an ice cold beer here. Yeah? Get your beers out. It's time for our cheers with Bush Light. Ah, sounds great. Today's cheers goes out to all the athletes, trainers, fitness instructors, gym owners, gym goers. I loved seeing all the ways you were keeping fit and healthy, encouraging fitness at home. I know your livelihoods have been shut down and I truly hope everyone is hanging in there as best as you can and staying healthy. Thank you for always keeping us in tip top shape and motivating us. Yeah, look at that. Cheers to you. 
I did like one at home workout this week. Let's not brag. Round five, which player is tied with Chris Ever for most US Open championships in the Open era? Steffi Graf, Serena Williams, or Martina Navratilova? Martina is the queen of Wimbledon with nine wins, but it's Serena that tied Everett's six titles in the Open era. Serena Williams is your answer here. 8,238 of you getting that one right. Yes, but in the amateur era, did you know it was Mala Bjorstedt Mallory who won eight times? Of course you knew that. All of you who've been around with me since 1918. Round six, who is the last to win multiple majors in a single PGA Tour season? Jordan Spieth, Brooks Kepka, or Rory McIlroy? Rory did it in 2014, Spieth in 2015, but Kepka took the US and the PGA in 2018. Brooks has won four of the last 10 majors, and most people not knowing that part is why he has such a chip on his shoulder, but 4,854 of you, nope, 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 you knew it. Yes, Brooks Kepka is your answer here, losing almost 4,000 of you here. Woo, just in time to take a little deep breath, reset. It's time for the seventh round stretch. I know we talked about a lot of different sports coming back, some of the major ones, of course. And with Major League Baseball trying to figure out just how they're going to do it, what would you prefer? Would you prefer that all the players take that salary cut? Would you prefer that those big names who aren't gonna like the salary cut are gonna sit out? Would you prefer watching games where there's no big stars? Or would you rather just have it all and wait till 2021? I say go big or go home. Oh, 53% of you want them all to take the salary cut. Mm, me and Gab are disagreeing with you here. We wanna see the best baseball that we can. Salary cut means, you know, players are just not gonna give it their all or give it their best, we think, anyway. And we are really rooting for that Astros shame tour. We don't want anyone sitting on the bench for that. Round number seven, who is the only player to win scoring titles in the NCAA, the ABA, and the NBA? Rick Barry, Julius Irving, or Pete Maravich? The all-time starting five thing was going around online and ESPN overlooked one of the greats for Golden State's lineup. Rick Barry, he led the nation for the Miami Hurricanes, then won scoring titles with the Warriors and with ABA's Oakland Oaks. Rick Barry is your answer, 3,229 of you getting that one right. All right, you know what time it is. We're getting into the thick of the game here, the tougher questions. Let's see if you can hang on for a win. Round eight, Simone Biles became the first woman in official competition to land what move? Triple double, triple axel, or double salto? Biles is so good, she's had to start naming tricks after herself. There's the Biles one, of course, the double-double dismount from the beam, and then there's this beauty. Take a look. First female competitor to ever do a triple-twisting double -twist Oh, let's see that again! In competition. So perfect. Oh my gosh, she is just everything in an athlete. Triple Double is the name of that, AKA the Biles too. 3,148 of you getting that one right and we are heading in to round number nine. Let's do it. Which of these players did not have seasons of at least 50 steals and at least 40 homers? Ryan Sandberg, Barry Bonds, or Alex Rodriguez? A-Rod and Bonds are three of four players who hit 40 bombs and stole 40 bags in the same year, but only three players have had years with 50 steals to go with years of 40 homers. Brady Anderson, Bonds, and Rhino, A-Rod never stole 50. Alex Rodriguez, wow! If this is a TKO, if I've ever seen one, yes it is! Man! Woo, take a minute there. People were getting too comfortable. They were sipping on their bush light and that one got away from many of you. But for 431 of you, you are right on course. Use those extra lives if you have them. Get back in the game because we are entering our final quarter. Here we go, round 10. 
who is the only fighter to win both a UFC title and an Olympic gold medal. Brock Lesnar, Jose Aldo, or Henry Cejudo? The answer to this just retired, although no one's really buying it, right? Cejudo defended his bantamweight title on May 9th and then announced his retirement that most think is part of a contract negotiation. Cejudo won wrestling gold in Beijing in 08. There he is. Henry Cejudo is your answer here. 1,226 of you getting that one right. Ooh, I like this number that we're seeing. Our last game, we had over $50 to each person in prizes. So let's see what we have tonight. Round 11. Which of these players led the NFL in catches the greatest number of times? Sterling Sharp, Jerry Rice, or Marvin Harrison? All right, you know, in career receptions, nobody beats Jerry. In a single season, no one beat Harrison's 143, but Marvin and Jerry each only led the league twice, while Shannon's older bro, Sterling Sharp, led the NFL in three years, 89, 92, and 93. Ooh another TKO here at round 11, bam! Shake that one off, because you only got one left. 376 of you are moving on unscathed to the final round. Use those extra lives if you have them, because it all comes down to this. The only way to end the season on top is to get this question right, right here, right now. For $5,000, round 12. Which NBA player led his team in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks in the same season? Dwayne Wade, Kevin Garnett, or Russell Westbrook? This is when it matters most. All right, these monsters are all well-rounded players who stuff the stat sheet in every conceivable way, but one of these players has led his team in all five of these stats for a year. It's Kevin Garnett with the Timberwolves for the win, and we have 227 new HQ Sports MVPs! Boo, 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 boo. Oh my! 227. New HQ Sports MVPs. It looks like you are all taking home a prize of just about $22 and two or three cents, depending how the penny turned. Not bad for 16 minutes of your time, right? Mr. Plow, 13. Sheesh and Naw, 2203, what a cutie cute. JT Bush, 2203 is going your way. Bowl, Mikey, bowl, do it. If you're as good as a bowler as you are an HQ Sports player, then do it, Mikey, bowl. Congratulations to our newest HQ Sports MVPs. That is how you finish a season on top. If this is your second, third, maybe sixth straight win, then man, I am among greatness right now. Thank you so much for joining us for HQ Sports Happy Hour with Bush Light. What a fun season it's been. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino. You can keep up with me on Instagram and Twitter right here, at Lauren underscore Gambino. And hey, this might be the end of us for right now, but it don't have to be for long. So let us know on Twitter, at HQ Sports, at HQ Trivia, when you want to play some more HQ sports. But until next time, remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.